Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be covering part two of how I restore all media. So for, in the previous part, I, I showed you guys how to restore the audio and make it all nice and sound good. In this part, we're going to go into how I actually restore the, the video and upscale it from my VHS quality. Um, to full on 8K. So we have the clip from the Lost Media Wiki, which is where I get most of my stuff. What is very important is you check to make sure it's it's already been uploaded. So like right here, it's been uploaded before, and that's important. And you check the date it was uploaded. So you want to do this? Make sure to do those dates. Or a thing so that you don't get um, a copyright strike. So today we're doing Pet of Pelican. Unless you're interested in this, it's just that it's um, it's an easy thing. It's short. It's good enough for demonstration. It's low. It's old enough. I can do it. Quick. I can do it and show the drastic differences. So I've already downloaded the clip, so minimize the Safari. And then we'll open a program called Topads. And we'll go to View Enhance AI. And then we'll hit browse, downloads. Actually, you can probably just do it from here. So you can drag and drop. So This video is in 360p. So, to we, we would hit preview and we'll preview the first 30 frames. You know, if we get nice and close, you can see that the one on the left is a lot more grainy, a lot more pixelated, and this one's quite quite clear. And it typically selects the best options for. The media and it, it does a pretty good job most of the time. From what I find, so I, I just leave it typically there, but you can mess around with the settings. And then when you go to start processing, there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here. Um, next video will be like how I increase the frame rate. Now, I lost my membership to it because I got a new computer. So, I'm working on that back, but we'll process it.
and this is the process thing you can see it will show you the home frames is processed the model it's using and a side by side comparison now mine has a stamp on it because I lost my license temporarily while I switched computers over and just forgot to reactivate it but yours will not have that and then over here is how long it'll take estimated so 2 hours and 23 minutes it's kind of inaccurate so yeah that's how that's done it's not hard and you kind of sit back um, do make sure you have a ton of space though because when you do 8k of anything especially when you get into higher frame rates like 60 or 120 you start to use up a ton of space i think in 8k i did one that was like 24 gigabytes for two minutes so yeah Make sure you do it and make sure you have a time space. But aside from that, it's not too intensive if you have good enough hardware. So I'll stop this because I don't really want any copies. Yes. Now for more intense work, I export it out as JPEGs and color correct it and do stuff like that. In Lightroom or Photoshop, and then make it look a bit better than I stitched it back together, and then upscale it. So like, this has a tendency to make colors a bit off on people's faces sometimes. So then I would go and export it and as a JPEG format. But that's an awesome for another video. Thanks for staying tuned and hope you have a great day.